Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to evaluate the integral in chapter 7.4, number 18, in Stewart textbook. Now this integral here, there's two things that you have to consider. If you see a fraction like this, it's either doing a completing the square at the bottom, or you do partial fraction. So in this case, I'm telling you that this is a partial fraction because if you look at the bottom part, you can factorize the x and you get x squared minus 1, which is x squared, well, which is x plus 1 and x minus 1. So let's see what I can do here. So if I factorize the bottom, it's going to be something like this. And x squared minus 1 can be separated into x plus 1 and x minus 1. Okay, so I have something like this. Now, if I do partial fraction, I have x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x, x plus 1, x minus 1 equals to a over x plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x minus 1. Now, I can just put it on common denominator. So I have x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals to a times x plus 1, x minus 1 plus b times x times x minus 1 plus c times x times x plus 1. So I have something like this, right? So what I want to do is, oops, so let me recopy this into the next page because I want to let x equals to 0, let's say, right? If I let x equal to 0, I get minus 1 on the left side equals to, this is 0, this is 0, so I have 1 here, minus 1 here, so I get minus a, so I know that a is equal to 1. Okay, so I get a equals to 1. Now, let x equals to 1. What happened? If x equals to 1, this is 0, because 1 minus 1 here is 0, so this whole thing is 0. This whole thing is also 0. I get to here, 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2c. And on the left side, I have 1 plus 2 minus 1. So I get a 2 equals to 2c. So I know that my c is going to be equals to 1. So I know my c is equals to 1. Now I want to let x equals to minus 1 now. If x is equal to minus 1, so this term is 0, and this term is 0, I have only the middle term, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, times minus 1, so I get a 2b. In this case, I get 1 plus minus 2 minus 1. Okay, so I have 1 plus minus 2 minus 1 equals to 2b. And then what is b? b is going to be minus 1. Now that I have a, b, and c, my integral is going to be 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1. This whole thing dx. Now integral of each term, because the coefficient of x is all 1, so I have all ln. So this is going to be ln of x minus ln of x plus 1 plus ln of x minus 1 plus c. Now you can group all that together because it's all ln. So this is going to be, let me use another color here. So I have ln of x times x minus 1 over x plus 1, absolute value, plus c. And this is my final answer for this question. For more information about partial fractions, please visit my website, go4aplus.com.